A brazen daytime robbery attempt captured on security video. Look at this. It happened near Melrose Avenue and Vista Street. This is in the Fairfax area. Investigators say two men got out of their car and confronted the person in the blue shirt, believing he was about to be robbed. That man pulled out a gun and fired. The would-be robbers went running and police captured them soon after. Now the LAPD is asking for help in finding the person with the blue shirt. Salute to this brother. This happened in the Fairfax area, which is a middle class and a upper class area. The Fairfax area is a nice area. Okay. So we have. Looks like. In his mid 20s, maybe early 20s. And he is dressed like. He's into basketball. He's not saggy. His clothes fit on him. He looks like he has some money. The two black girls started talking to him. While they're talking to him, they're texting their savage homeboy saying, let's get him. He got on some fresh shoes. He looks like he has some money. We're talking to him. He said he lives in the Fairfax district. We know he has some money. And this is LA. You don't have to be a gang member to have a gun to shoot. I've been telling you this. When you hear these guys talk about LA, that's not from LA. You can tell they know absolutely nothing about LA because you can have a poindexter. You can have a, a, a black guy who's a nerd and he will pull a gun on you. He will slap you. That's LA. And this video is an Amazon Prime example. Who would have known he had a gun on him? See, that's one of the many camouflages in LA because when there's activity like that, you're looking for someone who looks like a gang member and it's not him. And he knew. See, he may listen to me on social media. You never know. Hopefully he comes across this video if he isn't a frequent listener. He was ready. He was ready. Who would have thought him, him, the way he looked, the way he dressed, the way he carried himself. Who would have thought that he had a gun and he was able to get off shots, stop being robbed, and LAPD ain't even trying to mess with him. They not even trying to mess with him. That wasn't a Hispanic. You know how these guys are always on social media talking about, yeah, those Hispanic guys are getting those black guys in LA. You know, that same old, same old crap they hear because it makes them feel better about themselves and their situation. You had two savages fired on. One got hit because that brother knew what time it was. That's the difference between reality and social media. In reality, he knew that the jackers out here, they out here robbing people. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. You're not going to rob me. You're not going to catch me slipping. You got your thing. Okay, I got my thing too. It is the wild, wild west out here. This also serves as a blueprint for you out of town. People who come to LA and you get robbed. I know it's hard to be a tourist and get a gun, but this brother right here was ready. I take my hat off to him. I salute him. You can't judge a book by its cover. Who would have known? Who would have thought he was strapped? He was able to protect himself. He was able to fire his strap and have the enemies running for their lives. They got caught. Good. A round of applause. It's New Jack City out here. You have to be aware. You have to have vision. You have to anticipate. He anticipated some shit. That's how 
he was able to protect himself. That's how he was able to protect himself because he anticipated someone trying to rob him because of A, the neighborhood he lived in, B, his money, his status, what he has. More than likely, he got out of a expensive car, a Maserati, a Lamborghini, a Rolls, whatever. And the two black helpers approached him and uh, got on their texts and said, hey, he's right here. But when those two savages pulled up, they were in for a rude awakening. Again, this wasn't a Hispanic. This was black guys robbing another black man a brother minding his own business taking care of himself would have shot him dead if he wouldn't have given up what he worked for what he has this is a marvelous video this should be this video this clip should be up for the runnings of clip of 2021 video footage of 2021 this is beautiful that this is beautiful because this shows that he knows what time it is he knows what time it is he knows what time it is he's not sitting on social media crying about he can't get a woman I, that this this video says so much it reveals so much. This clip reveals so much. He's not sitting on social media crying about he can't get a woman. Crying, uh, putting out petitions to get channels taken down. He ain't got time for that. He's in the real world and in the real world, he has needs. He's not going to stop what he's doing because you have the jackers out here. However, he's ready for them. He anticipates their arrival. And he was strapped. He was ready. Because people aren't working, you have the jail releasing inmates early. You have people going cuckoo, Looney Tunes. You have a lot of crime. Crime is rampant in America. People are going to have to take the law into their own hands. You have a lot of police officers that don't want to patrol. You have a lot of police officers who's resigning, retiring, quitting. And you can't sit up and wait for police to come. You take the law into your own hands. You protect yourself. You protect yourself. You don't sit up here and wait until the law come. The law will take their sweet time. You protect yourself. He sent those savages running for their lives. He turned the tables on them immediately. The element of surprise. They did not know. They did not anticipate. You cannot judge a book by its cover. I'm so glad he was dressed the way he dressed and he did that. Because again, LA have these stereotypes where people would hear about this story and if they didn't have an image to put with the story they will say well that was a gang member he was this he was that because you know you have a lot of these guys on social media that think they're cool just by having la in their mouth and they don't even know what they're talking about i've been telling you that you'll have the corniest guy pull up on you if he has a problem with you he'll pull up on you who have on some overalls, who have on a suit, who have on some glasses, he'll have on his school uniform, he'll pull up on you or he'll defend himself, he'll surprise you. Has nothing to do with him being a blood or a crip. He stood up for himself, he stood his ground. This video speaks volumes. It speaks volumes because you see so many people being attacked, being robbed, being abducted, pistol whipped, beat. And it's good to see a black 
man defend himself in his early 20s, mid-20s. Defend himself. It breaks that stereotype that black men aren't prepared. Black men don't know what's going on. Yes, there's black men who are aware, anticipate this type of behavior because they understand the time, the era that we are in. He understands that. And that's that's something we all can learn from. Even people who believe in having protection and being able to protect him or herself. This is still something we can learn from because he reacted swiftly. The way he reacted, the way he looked, how it was done. Talking to two females that he thought that he was going to perhaps bend over in a few hours. They're on the phone saying, hey, come through. He got bread on him. He, he talking about some money. They pull up, get out, draw their weapons, and the brother in the basketball jersey is still alive, went viral, and looks like he won't be facing any charges. He better not be facing any charges. This is dope. This is dope. I'm adding this video to my playlist. This should be up for video or clip or footage of 2021. This was a masterpiece. This was a masterpiece. Because when you look at the image of not just black men, but black people don't show instinct like this. It's all a clown show. Fighting. That's all you see on social media and world star hip hop. But when you got a brother that's in the Fairfax district, a district that is patrolled heavy by LAPD. On Fairfax and Wilshire is where Biggie Small was murdered. Notorious Big. That is a upper high class area. So in that area, he was strapped and ready. He wasn't in Compton. He wasn't in Watts. He wasn't in Inglewood, always up to no good. He wasn't in Inglewood. He wasn't in Gardena. He wasn't in Long Beach, the LBC. He wasn't in Compton. He wasn't in Bompton. He wasn't, he wasn't over there off of Greenleaf. He wasn't over there off of Pyro, Compton Avenue. Cedar Block, Lone Beach Boulevard, Cross Atlantic. He wasn't over there. He wasn't on Crenshaw. He wasn't on Western. He wasn't on Normandy. He wasn't on Adams. He wasn't in front of some dope spot. He was out there shining. He was out there doing his thing. And the haters, those dogs tried to get on him and he pulled out his dog catcher. Them pit bulls hopped out of that vehicle, but that brother in the jersey pulled out the dog catcher. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Pulled out the dog catcher on that ass. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. You have to turn the tables on these savages because they're getting over and they're, they're running rampant all over America. Crime is out of hand. If you think you're going to be waiting on the police, you'll be dead. You'll be dead. You'll be long gone. You better get you a weapon. You better protect yourself. Forget the police. Forget the police. 
Do you actually believe? Listen, do you actually believe he could have called the police and waited until they got there and those savages would still be there? No, they'd have been long gone. That's why this this video, this clip, this 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 footage is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. His age, how sharp he is, inside and out. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, man. This this is this is this is a uh, this is a really good story to cover. I'm I'm a uh, uh I'm happy I'm doing this story. I said, listen, I gotta find some time to do this story. This this story has to be narrated by me. So to you brothers out there, hopefully you're watching this and you're taking notes. This is the blueprint he laid out. You should be on high alert. Unfortunately, it's your own people. Unfortunately, it's your own people, but you got to be on high alert on everything. You, you got to be on high alert. Another Amazon Prime example is Indian Red. He was murdered on live stream in his car. If he would have been on every person walking up on his car, knowing he's a wanted man, knowing that karma is on his ass like white on rice. If he was alert like this brother in the Jersey, he would be alive today. He would be alive today. I'm out. Peace.